I'll be presenting how Autotex Civil 3D and OpenAI's ChatGPT work in tandem using artificial intelligence to automatically identify and avoid dangerous driving conditions where water ponding occurs in road design projects. The transition from a tangent section to a fully super elevated section on a curve takes place over a distance where one side of the pavement begins to raise in elevation, passing through a 0% slope where the pavement will be flat, continuing on to race to a fully super elevated section. When a super elevation transition coincides with a sag vertical curve, an extremely dangerous condition occurs as water starts to pond on the road, generating conditions for hydroplaning. These areas are very hard to identify and often neglected even with BIM and 3D models, especially on complicated projects. I'll be opening a file in Civil 3D containing horizontal and vertical alignments. A super elevation report is generated from the list of available transitions in the project. Likewise, a vertical curve report is created containing detailed curve information. The vertical alignment report created in Civil 3D contains SAC curve information included low point station values, which in conjunction with the super elevation report also generated in Civil 3D, will assess potential flooding risks on the road. By logging into OpenAI's web page and selecting ChatGPT, I will be importing the vertical and super elevation reports. In order to do this, I will first be loading the super elevation file where ChatGPT automatically recognizes the nature of its contents. Now, I will load the vertical alignment report into ChatGPT, and once loaded, I will ask ChatGPT to extract low point station values for all SAC vertical curves. Every single low point station is now extracted. These stations, residing in a total different file, will now be read by the super elevation report where they will be placed properly according to their station values. To do this, I'll be asking ChatGPT to read these values and place them at the correct position in the super elevation report to assess if they are within transition zones. If any of the low point stations read by the super elevation file lie within a transition zone passing through zero, ChatGPT will type high risk of ponding. These results are coherent according to our project as the Civil 3D drawing clearly presents. When this situation occurs, I can now even ask ChatGPT for suggestions. Finally, it's important to mention that ChatGPT now has the extended ability to listen to commands using the Talk to ChatGPT functionality. It works like this. Give me the values for all low point stations in the project. Certainly. I'll refer back to the EHVA text file and extract the values associated with low point lines to provide you with the values for all low point stations in the project. Let's retrieve those values. Working. No, thank you. You're welcome. If you have any more questions in the future, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.